What is a consistent power contract volume? I am Rafael Hertzberg, partner at Interact Limited, an energy consulting company based in Sao Paulo, Brazil. How much energy should an industrial, a commercial or an institutional energy user buy? This has to do with at least three most important factors. The first one is uh, the GPD. If one is led to believe that it will be a strong GPD, then it's one scenario. If it will be a weak one, it's another one. The second aspect is the possibility of changing what is done in that specific location. And that might be very important if we are considering um, a few years' time frame. And the third aspect is associated with technologies. Usually, uh, companies and in institutions, they improve their processes. And this has an impact on the energy consumption. What's really at stake? Let's compare the three possible situations. The brown column shows the nominal business plan of a given industrial company. Let's say, for instance, that in this case, the client has consumed exactly the, the volume that it has contracted for that specific plan. It's the ideal situation, but it, it never happens in reality. So what we have is basically the blue column or the green one. If it's the blue column, it's because the client is showing an energy consumption above the nominal business plan. So the bottom line is if the client decided back then to contract the volume associated with the nominal business plan, then this client has now to buy the difference. On the other hand, if the client is showing a lower than expected energy consumption, then it's about selling the difference. What are the risks then? Well, buying or selling energy differences, they basically depend on the spot markets price. And what can be seen here in this graph is that there is a huge volatility. Power prices at the spot may go from a few reais per megawatt hour to a thousand reais per megawatt hour. So this may have an important impact on the energy account. On the other hand, if the client is interested to somehow mitigate this risk by contracting a flexi flexibility so that those volume differences are covered by a flexibility uh, as predicted in the contract, of course, this will be priced by the power supplier. So whatever the decision, there is always a cost associated to it. Each company has to develop its own strategy when it comes to energy volumes. And this has to do with at least three aspects. First, corporate governance. In many cases, companies and institutions, they have their own rules about contracting commodities. Second, I'm calling it volume management. Here in Brazil, the energy volume has to be dealt in a monthly basis because of the regulatory requirements before the cleaning house. And the third aspect has to do with the contracted power prices. If by chance power prices are very competitive, these differences may not have such a meaningful value. But on the other hand, in most cases, power prices are very high. So 
these uh, differences may have an important impact in the overall energy account. The conclusion we can draw from this presentation is shown here. The first point is that the value of the volume differences might be very important financially speaking. The second point it is about risk management. And the third point, it's about predictability. Thank you very much for watching this video. And here's my contact information. I am looking forward to hearing from you.